What's going on, guys? Welcome back to JP People Come Vibes, and I got to talk about this. Nothing new, that's for damn sure. Kanye West. When are we gonna stop allowing this? I get it. He missed his family. He want his wife back and his family back and all that shit. But this is not the right way to do it. Now people say, I understand he want his family back. You know, he missed. He had ample enough time to fix that problem. But instead, he just jumped around, acted around like a fucking fool. Running around chasing Trump, trying to get all these ideas out about all this crazy shit, jumping around, just it's acting a damn fool. Why are you trying to get you to control yourself, slow it down, you wouldn't do it. You don't want to hear nobody. And then she leaves. Now the reality sets in. See, I always told guys that um, act a fool, keep doing shit, and a marriage and all this. Especially when they have kids. I was like, um, don't get mad when somebody else is raising your kids. Can they get all defensive? Fuck that, I don't give a motherfucker ain't good. Don't get mad now when somebody else raising your fucking kids. See, what they don't understand is when she meets someone else, decides to marry or live in with this person, they are under the roof with your children. And now, even if this dude get a fixed practice for him, he's doing for your children. Your children are starting to like him more and more and more every fucking day he's there. So now you have to see not only your wife laying up being happy with this dude, but now the kids are having fun and being happy with this dude. That's what Kanye is saying. See, all this other shit is smoking mirrors, man. He can't take it because now he realized there's another dude in my house. And I think all of them used to be friends. I know they showed some, some clips way back where they all was all together hanging out. I think he came to the house, all that shit. That's why I tell you, don't trust the motherfucker around your wife or your woman. I always tell people that. Don't trust people, man. Y'all could be cool and all that shit, but the first minute your ass not there, they ready to take your place. Especially if you got a nice looking woman. And y'all women know it works all the way by the man. But dudes always want to bring their boys around, around their girl. Want to show her off to your boys. Now one of them caught her eye and she done caught his eye. As soon as y'all split up, guess who coming? A Pete Davis. <laughs> now I'm gonna call him out. The Pete Davis effect. So, you know, Kanye running around mad, doing trucks and flowers, all kind of shit. But the funny part is, Charlemagne the God. Y'all know he's a fool anyway. I don't really care for him sometimes because he say some weird shit that, you know, just a little out of pocket. But he said Kevin Kanye had a, a talk a while back. And from what he says, that he's Kanye was really mad that Pete Davidson is packing. And when I mean packing, I ain't talking about packing a book bag or some other shit. Say the bro packing like a bro. <laughs> and that shit bothers him. Bothers him to his core. And uh and you know Charlemagne's stupid anyway. So he's talking about this shit and of course it's going viral. But is it true? Is that what the madness is about? Kanye, you can't you mad cause old boy laying pipe to him? You ain't gonna win, man. Cause he's still there, so she must like it. So, you're not gonna win, bro. All these scare tactics you're doing and shit to everybody, it's not working. 
you know. And every time somebody say something, you jump up and attack them and all this crazy shit, you know. You, you, you breakfast out here, man. I mean, just out of pocket all over the place. Pete Davidson make one comment to you, then you go bash like a little chap. Uh, uh, he, 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 oh, you use a profanity now? Uh, uh, you, if you with this and this, who is with my kids? Who with my kids? Stop talking to all of these fucking virtual people. Because they're not going to fix your fucking problem. And, and like 50 said one time, you can't hurt a person, don't give a fuck. Pete don't give a fuck. Then you attack um, D.L. Hewitt. Because he said, if that was my daughter, I would do something about it. And I'm 100% behind that. The difference between him and the other dude that get restraining orders on them is hundreds of millions of dollars. Right, because he bought a house across the street That's not from her house. Th listen. I don't, I think that I've watched too many times where things like that happen and a woman or somebody's not believed and then things escalate. Yeah. Tom, he is stalking her. You could think it's cute. If it was my daughter, I'd do something about it. I don't mm. think it's funny. I think that you can't write a beat so good that you get to do these things. And society laughs it off because they say, well, she showed her ass all the time and he's this and he's that and this. That. At a certain point, it def it is not unusual for men like that. The, only, the only difference between him and a restraining order is about 20 hits and a couple of hundred million dollars. I just don't think it's funny. I think that 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 Kanye wouldn't get no pussy at all if he didn't write no hits. You know that. Like, he's not the kind of dude. You don't. <laughs> like, he counts on the shit that he. This, I just never. The difference. Y'all don't want to call it stalking. This is the highest level of stalking. He's threatening a boyfriend. He's texting, texting and calling and videoing all the time. This is harassment, people. It's even past that, because now he's making threats. He made a threat to D.R. Hughley. He's going to send somebody, basically going to hurt him. Because he said, that was my daughter, I'll do something about it. So now he's going through this whole thing with D.R. And that's the wrong person to go through. First of all, the hell, probably about that life. He don't look like he's not. Second, he is a A1 comedian. Y'all ever seen this man do a stand-up and just heckle people? To me, that's his funniest shit. When he attacked people in the audience, I always said his whole show should be that. Because that's when this dude is raw and funny as hell. Kanye, you ain't gonna win with that with him. All these leftists, leftist talk and all this pop political bullshit you used to do, that don't work with that dude. Or anybody anybody else for that, you know, that you're not gonna win. Can't get mad because dude laying pipe to your wife or ex-wife. People talk about it. Now you got all these people on your side saying all this stuff, you should have your kids, you should get your family. You are divorced. Divorce. You sign the fucking paper, divorce. And you don't even have, and this is what kills me, you brag about you have 10 billion fucking dollars. If that's correct, 10 billion. And you don't have no type of custody. Make it make sense. Why you don't have any type of custody? Who deemed that you want you wasn't um, competent enough to have any type of custody with these kids? And you made comments that you don't get to see your kids, but then she's like, "Why are you saying that you just was over here picking the kids up this morning?" So I think you throwing stuff out there for people to be on your side, but that's not gonna win with your get your wife back. It's gonna start hurting your kids because they're on social media too, because that's y'all whole life. So you ain't doing nothing but hurting your damn self. Don't get mad at DL. Don't get mad at Charlemagne. And definitely don't get mad at Pete. You know, you had her, you was there. But 
what kills me with all this you know you scream about all this godly stuff you didn't marry a godly woman the woman is known for several sex videos not just the one with uh, Ray J she had done several more with people slept with a fucking million people in the industry still taking her clothes off for the camera and you keep talking about godly stuff that is not a godly woman man the only thing is you done got yourself caught up you so into this woman you know what she do somebody gonna want her she's not an ugly woman she's a fire she look good she's never gonna be alone but when you left her you better leave you should have got your shit together she hung in there as long as she could I don't care what people say she hung in there longer than any of y'all black women would have stayed so he better be glad he had whatever the fucking race she is better be glad he had that because any other black woman have left that ass a long time ago and y'all know it so hey bro don't get mad at the messengers out here move on man you keep dating these lookalikes take you one of these lookalikes and, and move the fuck on that's all I can say about it but Charlemagne you're a fucking fool and don't get mad cause Pete packing man Stop looking at that man's shit. You wouldn't know that. Weird ass. <laughs> All right, people. All right. So I got to get up out of here. Uh, this was fun. Uh, I don't know what else to tell you, man. But people stop supporting this stupid shit because the next man that you have could be a Kanye and you won't find it to be funny. Or better yet, doing it to your daughter. We see it all the time out here. Dudes don't want to let go. But, hey man, what do I know? I'm JP Calm Vibes, and I'm about to get up out of here. Peace, my people. Take care. Have fun.